What's up, Squid Boys? Today I was going to try something new. I've only done this map once. We're going to go search for oil. Now, when I did this map, I got so mad because I didn't know the rules that it messed up. So I was in our starting location here. My neighbor moved out and I completely destroyed him. And I was like, ha, I destroyed him. Now I'm going to take him out. And guess what? I could not get into his territory. And I was like, ah, oh, well, well, screw this. I've just made an enemy for life and I can't even take his territory. So what's going on here? So this is a special map. It's only available at certain time periods, but we all start on the edges of the map and those edges are impenetrable. You can't get invaded here. Now, what's the point? The point is to get the oil. See those little circles here? We want the oil. And if you, if you take over enough oil fields, you win the game. Let's just get into it. I'll see, we'll both be experiencing this map together. Because honestly, I only went through that embarrassing first run thinking I was a genius just to find out that um, I couldn't take him out. Okay, Dominion Game Mode. The Ottoman Empire uncovers vast oil fields in Mesopotamia. We cannot let these riches fall into the hands of our other generals. We established an impregnable brigade. Use the safe zone to prepare your soul. Yeah, so I didn't read this. Use the safe zone to repair your assault. You have to conquer four oil fields and hold them for three days to be victorious. We should find out how many oil fields there are. More information should be found on the panel. Good luck. Oh, sweet. This is a nice spot. So I guess it's random. This is great. So I don't have anyone above me. Oh, this is nice. And then I'm close to this oil field. Okay, you all saw that. Let me go back. Just for those special people in the chat, this is on random. Country selection. Yeah, I got a great start. And also there's no coalitions. The minimum level is rank. I believe it's five. Uh, so I'm in a great spot. Now you can see the Ottomans are the AI that's all over the map. And they have, from what I remember, they have like armies everywhere. They're not too bad. I think the Ottomans can't cross into my area too. And if that's the case, I need to go straight for this oil field. So I need to go take up provinces in the north. So I'm going to first grab all my territories. Forgot, I still have a premium account. I already have recruitment offices. Okay, so I have a double food and a double wood. Oh, if I'm low on oil, I need to do this. I need to not use any of my oil ever because I need to assume oil is going to be scarce and good. I have, I've evened them out. So I have double fish and double wood. I can work with this. Workshop and double fish. Oh, wait, I have three double resources. Oh, wow. I guess I'll build another workshop. Okay, so we're really going to be in a good spot. Now, my plan is I have four artillery pieces. That's interesting. I have four artillery pieces and three army groups. I don't want to fight here, but I also don't want to lose to the AI if they can attack me. So I'm going to leave a cavalry group here. I'm going to move right here. I'm going to move right here. I'm going to move right here. And I'm going to move right here. My initial goal is to take here and then all of this. And the reason I want these three provinces is if, if anyone comes at me, I would hate for them to take these provinces and then get deeper into my area. So this gives me a good wall. These are fat provinces right here. And I feel very confident that I can hold these. I should check out my neighbor. All right, level 10, not bad. Let's see his record. Not the greatest kills to death ratio. He's gonna take in provinces. And he doesn't build navies and he doesn't build airplanes. Yeah, so my goal is to get this oil place really quickly, guard this beachhead, and then I'll have a landing zone to get to the other ones. And I'll move to the other ones based on player activity and who I see as a threat. But this is my core right here. Now I need four oil fields. Most likely it will be these four. But if we have a really strong player here in the south, for example, you know, it might be these four. It just just depends. Now I need to clear war. Oh, I need to check the stock market too. The stock market's going to be really bad, I bet. Oil's not bad. I don't know. I don't know what I really need right now. I'm going to do offers for things that are on discount. Oh, they just moved the oil up. Gas. That's not bad. I'm going to do the oil too. So 20 grand in each spot. I'm trying to get those savings. Now this probably won't work until people go AI. The problem I had when I played this once is I, I took out this guy. I had all my forces, took him out, and then he quit. And then I had this AI here and I was like, oh, for the rest of the game, he's just going to come out and attack me. And I don't want to deal with a neighbor like that. So yeah, this is the plan. I'll be very interested to see how he maneuvers because he's right here. He hasn't moved this group. So I'm thinking he may think that we could be a threat and he may be planning on retaliating against us. Okay, workshops are done. Very happy with my position and with the amount of armored cars I have. 
four armored cars. That's plenty. I don't have any balloons. I'm probably going to build barracks after this. So actually I can do a queue because I have a premium account. So I'm going to add a barracks here and a barracks here and a barracks here. Yeah, I could just do all that right now. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to build a balloon, a balloon. Why not? And a balloon. And then the rest is just going to be cavalry. Oh, I can't queue the cavalry. Okay. So the barracks has to be done before that. Now when the barracks start getting, start getting built, I'm going to disable them while they're being built. Just something I've been doing, not having to deal with the upkeep of a barracks. Here you can see a level two barracks. Like I don't want to have to deal with upkeep. I know it won't be the full max amount while it's being built. It's not worth my time. I think when I start industrializing here to see my opponent, I don't care what the AI does. I'm just going to assume the AI does what the AI does. I'm going to move here and then I'm going to build forts once I start industrializing properly. But since I have two materials, it's going to be, it's going to be a good setup. Oh, and I'm only at war with this Ottoman army. That's interesting. So there's other versions of it. That's good. I was just worried AIs from, you know, all the way over here are going to start invading me, but they separated them. We're about an hour away from day change. I had to reorganize my troops. The only thing different is these two were up here where this large group was here. And the reasoning is last night I saw that they had an artillery piece up here. I wasn't expecting that and a lot more troops. I'm waiting until day change so I can heal up. So everyone's on the border, 37 minutes. Then I'll start moving forward. Other people have been taking ground. I actually haven't taken anything yet, but you can see people are, are moving. People are taking ground. My neighbor to my south has not even declared war on the AI. And that's not actually a bad idea because when I started firing here, these troops and these troops started moving up north. So I was actually killing his guys. If I were to play this again, I may wait if I have an active neighbor to aggro the AI infantry away from me. But if we look at the newspaper, I've only lost 5,000 versus 60,000. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter. Probably overthinking things. It's day change. 30 minutes have passed. All the territory I've taken has not revolted. I'm sending out my armored cars for another sweep because my balloon spotted this has no one and this has no one. I don't need to be taking this much land. This is where my forts are going to be, but it doesn't hurt to get this extra land as like a buffer. Let them attack it. Let the morale go down. Gives me heads up to put troops, more troops on the fort line. France, my neighbor, still has not moved. I'm going to assume he's AFK. He's not declared war on the Ottomans, but the German Empire right next to me has killed 127 Ottomans. Now that's a lot. Let's look at my kill count. 80. They've been killing a lot. Assume that's why they haven't gained as much ground as me. If we zoom out, we can start seeing people are moving and that's good. I want competition. That's great. If France isn't going to be a threat, I still have to worry about them showing up later. Then that leaves the German Empire, which is a threat, the most immediate threat to me, and the guy up here, Colombia. Now I looked at Colombia's stats and they're off. Columbia has actually lost more people to the AI Ottomans. I bet that artillery messed them up. I was surprised they have artilleries on the corner pieces, but it makes sense because it's a really big advantage to be on the edge like this. I'm moving troops back home that are wounded that I think I don't need to start healing them up, to start that process. But overall, I'm going to have balloons scouting my next AI target, and we need to cross this river. I think it would be very beneficial to strike here and only here with scout balloons here and here to see if they cross the ocean to attack me. But I want to kind of think with AIs is you want to hit them in a very concentrated location, draw the aggro towards you, kill them playing defense, and then move into strike. And I think that's what my neighbor Germany is doing here, because you can still see there's like artillery fire shooting all the time i'm also not in a rush to take this spot and i haven't really played this map before so i don't know how well defended this is but they have a bunch of buildings here so i shouldn't feel like i just need to sneak over there and rush it rush it let's let's really take over areas let's really solidify our defensive line i won't be building forts 
anywhere but here until I see actual people moving in. But I wanted to get this fort to level three after I industrialize, just so there there's a line of sight hidden. And when this guy comes back in the game, he'll see that he won't know the army strength of this fort, which will give me an advantage. I have a railroad being built here and my double food, my double wood, my oil. Because I only have one oil province, I thought might as well get a little extra oil. Next, I'll be building a double railroad here and my double steel. But I was looking at the single resource provinces. You know, a single resource province makes around 3,200 resources, but this coal and this oil make more. They make 4,700 and I don't know why. So they're, they're kind of like a resource and a half. I think if I need to build barracks that aren't in the double resources, I will build them here next. Uh, but that that's not anytime soon. Right now I'm, I'm like hurting on food. I thought I needed to build barracks here even though I have them disabled because once I start industrializing it's going to be very hard to build another barracks because I would be like oh I need to build a factory here and then level two factory and then three and four. So I was thinking might as well just have one. I'll probably disable this barracks once this cavalry gets finished. And once I can start churning out cavalry again, I'll start undisabling the barracks. And then once I start getting too much food resources, I'll start upgrading the barracks to level two. But that'll take time. I'll be interested to see what this next Ottoman opponent has. The problem I have now that I'm thinking about it is no one is fighting this AI. I guess there's two AIs, one and two. So if I strike them, pretend I strike them here, they're going to come at me from here. They're going to come at me from here. And that's another reason why I want to be right here and then let them come at me. And that's going to take time. I'm thinking I'm going to get the first shot here and no one else is going to be fighting me. So this could be really hard. This could be a lot of troops and there's probably going to be a time lapse. Now I'm assuming there's going to be no resistance here. Next, we're going to cross the river and create a bridgehead over here. I will be building harbors eventually on the coast to get easier access and harbors are just economically great. And I think Calvary are really going to dominate this map for people who don't have a lot of oil and everyone in the beginning is not going to have a lot of oil because right now i could build like a factory and a half with just my production every day which isn't a lot and it will increase when this gets to 100 percent and when i get a railroad going on here one to two factories a day in a game is not going to be a lot and it's really going to be noticeable by day 10 i'd say day 10 if you haven't taken a double oil day 10 is when you're going to be like oh things are not working right and oil prices are going to spike because if i look at the stock market right now oil's still pretty cheap now i needed my money because you could build railroads on day three now which is great but i can't this 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 price for oil is going to be massive and also with the stock market i've been making really good gains like look at everyone's buy orders look how much stuff i bought for 1.2 monies this is great i was not expecting human players to do this people like to sell resources they think there's resources that are not relevant to the game and i tell them they're wrong they should watch the stock market masterclass i have on my youtube channel but all right i think this is part one I think this is going well. I'm happy to see competition. Well, last night, France finally moved. I positioned some troops, building a level two fort, which is a bummer because it's delaying my railroad right here. What are you gonna do? And it's as I take my last province here. My plan is to build up an army. It doesn't have to be too big, but build up a force and then go north. And my balloon is spotted that in the north, they only have infantry right here, which isn't bad. I'm gonna use this balloon to keep scouting and seeing what they have. But overall, I'm quite pleased. I need to keep an eye on other people because as you see, Spain and Austro-Hungary are getting very very close to their capital. I guess that is one disadvantage of being on the edge here. I have to cross a river and fight two different AIs. On one hand, yeah, I don't have much competition unless France and Germany start showing up. And on the other, I'm not going to be the first one to get an oil garrison. But I can't complain. Competition right here that's about to be in contact. Soviet Union's getting pretty close. You know, no one's getting this one either. So that, and then this one's completely open, which is scary. I don't know how well Austria and Spain are doing, but if Austria and Spain take this one, this one might be a really easy one for them. But they need four, so it might be these four. We have time. Time will tell. 